Yo, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in. Today we're gonna be talking about cashiers again. The last video I made right here actually got quite a bit of views. I just wanted to make a part two to that video. I'm gonna just get straight into it. And by the way, I actually am not a cashier no more. I recently moved to the produce department because it's a long story. All right, so first comment right here. They are asking if you need to be good at math to be a cashier. Honestly, you do and you don't. You just have to know the basic zero to a hundred cents scale. So if you know a hundred minus 25, 75, which is three quarters, then you'll be fine. It's just repetitive, honestly. You'll get the hang of it after doing it every single day. I remember I used to do that and people would give me some dollar bills with change. I would say, oh, how am I gonna do this? But once you're there, you'll, you'll know. And plus, most of the stores that I know have a screen that tells the cashier how much they're gonna give. So it, it should be pretty easy. Honestly, you don't have to be good at math. You have to know the basics, that's it. Second question. How do cashiers find the barcode so fast? Nice vid, by the way. Thank you, man. So cashiers, literally, sometimes they even have to actually turn the item to find it. But most of the time, after you work for, let's say, a week, you'll know exactly where it is. Cereal box, you'll just scan it right through because you know it's on the bottom. Or if it's a milk jug, the way you grab it, you'll know you have to twist it because the barcode is on the other side. So it's all repetitive, guys. After doing it for a few days even, you'll get the hang of it, trust me. Next question. Is it okay to have a calculator next to you at all times? Yes. Actually, one of the cashiers that I knew, that I worked with, would have her calculator right by her side at all times, just in case she forgot, or let's say she couldn't think at the time, she was too stressed. She would just whip that thing out and boop, 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 and then get the number. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. No one's gonna say nothing, unless you have like a weird manager, but nah. At my store, they're chill. Next question, how do I know what money to give back? So, like I said, some stores have the screen telling you how much, so you'll know from there. How do I have no anxiety? Honestly, you just have to control your emotions. If you feel anxious, just... Just breathe. I know I used to be super nervous to be a cashier. Every time I would open my register and say, Hey guys, who's up next? I would be like, <sighs> because I did not want to do it. But after you get used to it, you start talking to people, you make conversations, you just get the flow. Just keep doing it. You'll get the hang of it. Next question is, do you feel most people use a credit slash debit card. Honestly, I think yeah, I think they do. I would say 85% of customers use a, a, either a debit or credit card, which is actually in the cashier's favor. So be grateful that people are using the card because most of the time, literally you tell them the total and then they whip the card out and they just put it in and all you have to do is press a button, accept. And it's it goes through, you have to do nothing else. Receipt comes out, give it to them, they're gone. So honestly, hey, Thank you for commenting that because I forgot that that relief I had when people would use a card and didn't give me cash. I was like, <sighs> memorizing the codes. What did you do when you had to scan a fruit or vegetable, but you never saw it before and you don't know what it is? And for example, there are so many kinds of apples. How do you recognize which one it is? All right, this one is a good question. I used to see vegetables and fruits and all sorts of things I had never seen in my life. But you just have to be friends with the cashiers, your coworkers, because there's some experienced cashiers out there that know everything and they'll know the code of it right away. So just be their friend, be like, hey, easy, what's the code for this? And they'll tell you and you just put it in. And if you don't have a coworker around you, you just have to search it up on the computer. I think every computer in the registers have a search bar where you can search it. But like you said, if you don't even know the name of it, just call your manager or even ask the customer themselves. Since they're getting it, they should know what it is. Cause it is stressful when you don't know what it is. So the next question says, I was wondering if you have any recommendations on leg and back exercises as these two get really taxed during the workday. Uh, honestly, I would say deadlifts because they really work out your legs and your back and do cardio. You should walk a lot, go for runs to get the stamina up because you're going to be moving a lot and you don't want to be out of breath just standing there. You're going to look weird. Um, the reason I'm not a cashier no more 
is because I'm in produce now and some of you guys might be thinking should I switch from cashier to another department and honestly it all depends on you how you are if you like talking to people interacting with customers all the time answering questions dealing with their problems I would say be a cashier because you're gonna be helpful for them and they're gonna be so happy you're there for them because when there's a cashier that doesn't really do their job even you know when you go to the store and the cashier is like yeah it's like not it's not helpful so if you're gonna go the extra mile to help I think you should be a cashier, but if you just want to do your work alone, if you don't want no one bothering you, if you don't want people asking you questions, I say move to another department that doesn't involve customer interaction or customer service. For example, me and produce, the only questions I get asked are, where's the onion? Or where's the cilantro? Literally, it's simple questions like that. It's not, never gonna be anything like, hey, why are you charging my pineapple two dollars more? Nah. So that's the only reason I like it because the hassle you don't have to deal with a lot of that extra stuff But yeah, I like produce all I have to do is rotate fruits vegetables make sure they're clean and then just dump some new one So now for the final question everyone has been waiting for How is the pay? It's average come on guys you thought I was earning six figures as a cashier I barely made five figures. <laughs> For me, I live in California, so the minimum right now I think is 16. I was earning 1650 since I had a year already. It's regular pay, you know. I was a part-time worker, so I would go to school and then go to work right after. So I would earn money for my car, you know, the gas, washing it, maintaining it, and also for my little expenses. You could get yourself one of these. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like, it would mean so much. And subscribe to the channel, please. We are almost at 4K. Guys, if we reach 4K, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm so grateful for every one of you watching. Please leave a comment if you have any more questions. And yeah, let me know if you're working as a cashier or you're staying as a cashier after these questions were answered. I'll see you guys on the next one, peace.